Today on the Philly Tall Podcast, we got to talk about the two linebackers on the screen. They both got a lot in common. That is Patrick Queen and Isaiah Simmons. They're both young. They both had good year fours. And both of their teams decided to decline their fifth-year option, which means they could possibly be available. We talk about that, plus Adam Schefter on 97.5 The Fanatic says that Jalen Carter called the Eagles on draft day to make one last pitch. Plus, they got a lot of offers for pick number 30, but they love Nolan Smith like I did. This is Philly Talk with Philly Mike. Talking sixes in the bird game, that's our life. Competition, we ain't scared, yeah, that's what we like. Win or lose, you know we showing up and we gon' fight. Uh, you see we strive for the sky every day that go by. And every single week we scream and fly, eagles fly. This is Philly Talk with Philly Mike, yeah. This is Philly Talk with Philly Mike, yeah. What is going on, everybody? I go by Philly Mike, and this is the Philly Talk Podcast. And today, we got a lot to talk about. But before we do that, Eagle Nation, y'all know what I'm going to ask you. Help your boy out and hit that like button. Y'all been killing it. Subscribe, ding the bell. So you know when we go live and drop videos early next week, we got an NFC East roundtable talking about the drafts. Yes, Eagles by Philly Mike. Cowboys by CFT, Cowboys Fan Talk. Giants by Christy Entertainer and Washington Commanders by The Real Ed Oliver. Now, we got to get into this, but a couple people been asking, what about that jersey giveaway? Yes, 342 people entered the video. That video is now private. You can't enter. I got all 342 people in the spinny wheel. However, I did say on the live stream, if you donated a dollar, that's another entry. Five bucks, another five entry for every dollar you donated. And I haven't calculated that. So all 342 first entries are in, but some people got multiple entries from the Super Chats. We will be doing that this weekend. Whoever wins by random can pick Nolan Smith, Jalen Carter, any one of the rookies. And when the jersey's available, bang, bang, boom, boom, we got you. Let's talk. So both Patrick Queen and Isaiah Simmons had their fifth-year option decline I'm shocked. Now, maybe they're disgruntled. Maybe they want more money, but they both played well. Here's my question. Our defense got upgraded. Nolan Smith, linebacker, but more of a pass rusher. Jalen Carter, D-tackle, pass rusher, stopped the run. Then you got Sidney Brown. Then you go out and get another D-tackle, who we're going to talk about him a little later in the week. He's not just a run stopper. You get an offensive lineman on one side, kill the draft. Kill the draft. You, 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 you trade for a running back. However, the linebacker position, I don't think is weak, but could be helped. I believe in the Kobe Dean. I want to see Nicholas Morrow, but it could be helped. Let's, who would you pick? Let me know in the comment section. Neither Queen or Isaiah Simmons. Patrick Queen or Isaiah Simmons, who would you take? Let me know in the comment section. Let's talk about what they did. Patrick Queen, 117 tackles, five sacks, one forced fumble two interceptions, and six passes defended. That's a quality year. Quality year. You can put that stat line next to TJ Edwards, next to Kaiser White, and I would take what he did over TJ Edwards, who got seven mil to go to the Bears. Let's look at Isaiah Simmons. 99 total tackles, four sacks, two forced fumbles, two interceptions, and seven passes defended. So one more forced fumble for Isaiah Simmons. One more sack for Patrick Queen. 18 more tackles for Patrick Queen. One more pass defended for Isaiah Simmons. And they both had two INTs. Again, is it money? Is it the team disgruntled? Whatever it is. The Eagles should just wait until at least June 1st. Because you don't know what's going to happen post June 1st. Both these guys on rookie contracts, both these guys were first-round picks. Correct me if I'm wrong in the, in the comment section, especially my cap guys. Rookie contracts are cheap, I know that. But ain't the fifth-year option the year they'll get the most money or be at least the biggest hit to the cap? So maybe if these guys are really disgruntled, maybe they could get cut June 1st. I don't know. Y'all let me know in the comment section. But I do think... Between May and August, 
especially after training camp and you get the feel for how how much Dean has taken over, which I believe in the Kobe Dean wholeheartedly. Why he's on the Georgia Bulldog, the Philly dog shirt. Um, I believe in Jordan Davis too, and the three newcomers. But who's Nicholas Morrow? Who's the third linebacker? How much will Nolan Smith fall back? I think you can upgrade the linebacker spot between May and August. We got time still. It's Howie season. Let him cook. Now, before we get to Jalen Carter calling the Eagles on draft day and why the Eagles didn't even accept any trade for number 30, who knows what they were offering? Let's take a look at the new merch. Listen, shout out to y'all. For real, for real, y'all been copping the merch, especially this one. Uh, that's the design. This is the uh, oversized, old school look, but it's not sloppy long but the material stick you can see the designs bigger um shout out to lb he told me definitely cop that because uh you could watch i mean it's great it's great material um but it is thicker bulkier shirt that's why we got it in the regular tees more fitted uh for your liking everyday use but shout out to everybody who's been copping it y'all been going hard the link will be in the description and in the pinned comment section and I'm surprised how many people, I've seen a couple greens, reds, grays, blacks. Nobody bought the pink yet. I don't think anybody bought the white ones yet either. But listen, um, Print Champs is like, hey, if you want to use the promo code in the, in the coupon section, put Philly Talk, capital P, capital T, Philly Talk, and you get 10% off. And he threw me the code today because he was like, they're coming in. They're coming in. Um, so shout out to y'all. Uh, we still have more, but um, yeah, y'all making them work. Y'all making the print champs work, and I appreciate it. Not only because, you know, I put my time to help make that design, and I really do think that this core of Georgia Bulldogs, the Philly Dogs, are going to represent Philly for, you know, eight, nine, ten years. But, you know, shout out that. I just love that y'all love it. Anyways. Let's talk about what Jamie Lynch tweeted. He had Adam Schefter on his show. It's not really his show no more. It's the Kincaid show. But this is the exact words from Adam Schefter. The Eagles went back and forth on Jalen Carter leading up to the draft, but it was Jalen Carter who called the Eagles Thursday and did his best sales pitch. He said he wanted to be in Philly. He wanted to be here. Quote, Exact words from Adam Schefter. Now, Jamie Lynch does not put the quote things and, and, and tag Adam Schefter if it's not exactly what he said. So the Eagles were undecided, not really on maybe, who knows what they were undecided on. Maybe they were undecided to the fact that, well, we would have to trade up to get Jalen Carter. Are we willing to do that? Blah, blah, blah. But he fell. He fell to us. Maybe Jalen knew he was going to fall. That's why he called Philly. This man is very talented. And if there's any team that can get all the ounce of talent out of him, it's the culture we have, it's the quarterback we have, it's the coach we have, and it's his dogs, his Philly dogs around him. He's going to be playing. I think he starts come September. We'll see. Now, I guess the Eagles got a bunch of calls. Yo, 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 Howie Roseman, we want that number 30 pick. Why do you want 30? Because we want Nolan Smith. We're willing to give you blah, 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 blah. This is what Adam Schefter said. Teams, with an S, were trying to trade up the Philly spot to get Nolan Smith, but the Eagles didn't want to trade it because they really liked him. As soon as he visited, there was great, great reviews from Philly about him. There's been multiple reports that they like Nolan Smith. They like him. Would he fall to 30? I didn't think so. And he did. And he did. Teams wanted to trade up. And we talked about how he Roseman trading back that one. Now, he did other things to garner more picks. Able to sign Swift. Able to move up for Ringo. My goodness. 
Ringo got upside. Got some things he got to work on. 4-3 speed at 6'2", 207. You can't teach 4-3, 6'2", 207. Long. She got to get a couple things right. He'll be around Darius Slay and Bradbury for two, three years. We going to be Philly talking about him making big strides. Maybe, maybe. Eli Ricks, undrafted rookie free agent, all field issues. That don't matter to me when he's on the field as long as he's keeping his head straight. Maybe Eli Ricks and Keelan, Keel, Keel, Kellen, I got to get his name right. Maybe Eli Ricks and Ringo could be the future. Who knows? They're young. Young, young, young. But to know that teams wanted to trade up for Nolan Smith and the Eagles was like, nah, he's ours. He's our secret weapon. The fact that Jalen Carter said before draft day or on draft day, pretty much to me, I get this. Draft me, I promise y'all won't, won't regret it. Philly dogs. Philly dogs. One more time. Not going to show all the other all shirts, but hey, Philly dogs run faster. Again, the link will be in the description. Uh, it's also going to be at the pinned comment section. Once again, help your boy out. Hit that like button. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Subscribe, ding the bell. We got an NFC East roundtable coming up next week early. Make sure you're notified. We need y'all support as we are chewing up the Cowboys, the Commanders draft. The Giants drafted pretty good, but we're going to chew the rest of them up. Um, once again, y'all cop the Philly talk hats and shirts, but the Philly dogs, man, mo a, a lot of sales in the first 24 hours. Had a couple sales while I was going live last night, woke up to a handful of sales, and y'all kept on, kept on buying it. Use code Philly talk, capital P, capital T, for 10% off. Love y'all. Appreciate y'all. We out.